All praise is glory and honor go to Yahweh. Bashim Yahushai, Bashim Rakah Kadash, Yahweh. That's the name of the Heavenly Father whom the world calls God. Yahweh Shai, that's the name of the only begotten Son of the Heavenly Father whom the world ignorantly refers to as Jesus. His true name is Yahweh Shai. Um, Bashim Rakah Kadash, which means in the name of the Holy Spirit. Double honor to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who rule well and who has taught us this truth. Shalom, wa barakim, the habakari, and shalayasha'ala. Peace and blessings to the elect of Israel. Um, this morning I was just meditating essentially on influences. You know, you know how our, our minds are influenced uh, depending on, you know, what we're focused on. All right, so essentially, I just want to get do a lesson or do a video on, you know, just being mindful of what we're allowing to influence us. All right, because we want to be influenced by the Holy Spirit, by the Rakah Kadash. We want to be influenced by this truth. All right, we don't want to be influenced by this world. All right, in this world, it has a lot of different influences. All right, and it can get and it will get you destroyed. Alright, so let me just, you know, get a couple scriptures. Um, a bunch came to mind. Uh, let's start out in Surat. Um, it's Surat chapter 39 and 1. It says, But he that giveth his mind to the law of the Most High, and is occupied in the meditation thereof, will seek out the wisdom of all the ancient, and be occupied in prophecies. All right, so what we have to give our mind to the law of the Heavenly Father, which is these holy scriptures. Okay, and what we have to be occupied in prophecy. All right, and prophecy. Uh, I'm just trying to put up the brightness. All right, um, prophecy. We know what prophecy represents. All right, let's get that in Revelation. Right. So Revelation chapter 19 verse 10 It says And I fell at his feet to worship him And he said unto me See that thou do it not I am thy fellow servant of thy brethren That have the testimony of Yahweh Shai Worship Yahweh Worship the heavenly father It says for the testimony of Yahweh Shai Is the spirit of prophecy Alright so what we gotta be continually Meditating on, on these prophecies Which is found in the holy scriptures Which is found in these words Alright cause then what We're gonna have the testimony of Yahweh Shai Alright By meditating on these words Essentially we're meditating On Yahweh Shai Alright and what if you jump down to verse 13 It says cause this is the Revelation 19 is going into the return of Yahweh Shai Alright, but I want to get a particular point in verse 13. It says, And he was clothed with a vesture dipped in blood, Yahweh Shai, because when Yahweh Shai comes back, like it says in Isaiah 66 chapter, it says, The slain of the Lord shall be many. So Yahweh Shai is going to be um he's going to be destroying the majority of the people out here because the majority of the people out here are wicked. Here's the point. It says, And his name is called the Word of the Heavenly Father. So another title for our Lord Yahweh Shai is the Word of the Most High. Alright, and that's what we need to be. Continually meditating on these words, man. All right, now I want to get this in Psalms, Psalms one nineteen, and the ninth verse. All right, we gotta always keep this in mind. We gotta always keep these words in mind every single day, because meditating on these words is what's gonna get us saved. It's what's gonna keep us, man. It's what's gonna keep us from the evil out here. This is Psalm chapter 119, verse 9. It says, Wherewithal shall a young man cleanse his way? It says, By taking heed thereto according to thy word. All right, so we got to be washed and cleansed with this word. All right, just like on a carnal sense or on a physical sense, daily we got to wash our bodies. All right, and we got to cleanse our bodies because what? It's, because it's filthy out here. All right, but what in a spiritual sense, even more importantly, all right, daily we gotta wash ourselves with this word, cleanse our body, cleanse the house, cleanse our spirit. 
All right, I'm going to read that again. Psalms 119 and 9. It says, Wherewithal shall a young man cleanse his way? It says, By taking heed thereto according to thy word. All right, now let's get another scripture. Let's get Matthew the sixth chapter. All right, this is Matthew chapter 6 and verse. Start verse 21 it says for where your treasure is there will your heart be also so what you find treasure another word for treasure is 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 valuables or something that you value all right so whatever you, what, something that you value that's where your heart is going to be so if what you value is is the kingdom of heaven okay which is these prophecies is which which are the things that are going to be fulfilled the things that are to come that's where your heart is going to be. That's where your mind is going to be. Your mind is going to be on these ordinances. Your mind is going to be on these words. All right. But what if your treasure or, or what you value is in this world, you know, different possessions or things that you're trying to obtain in this world. All right. That's where your heart is going to be. And we can't have our heart in this world. All right. We got to constantly fight to get our mind, get our head up out of this world. All right. Because this world is uh is enmity with the heavenly father all right i'm gonna keep reading verse 22 it says the light of the body is the eye if therefore thine eye be single thy whole body shall be full of light all right that eye is talking about your mind's eye which is your brain your conscious what you what you what you're meditating and focusing on that's the light of your body all right if your eye be single meaning if you're single-minded singularly focused on yahweh by shim yahweh shai your whole body is going to be full of light, man. Verse 23, it says, But if thine eye be evil, meaning if you're not singly minded on this truth, but what is on this world, which this world is evil, it says, Thy whole body shall be full of darkness, and therefore the light that is in thee be darkness. How great is that darkness? All right, we don't want that. We don't want to be full of darkness. We want to be full of light. We want to be beacons of light. All right, because what? If your house is within us, we have that light, man. All right, now let's get this real quick. It came to mind. Um, oh, slack, yeah. Search it up real quick. James. This is James chapter 4, verse 4. It says, Ye adulterers and adulteress, know ye not that the friendship of the world is enmity with the Heavenly Father? Whosoever, therefore, will be a friend of the world is the enemy of the Most High. All right, so what? We can't have friendship. We can't be in league with this world. All right, because what? If you're in league with this world, which this world does nothing but exalt wickedness, you're going to be destroyed with this world because the Lord is coming back to destroy this world, man. All right, now let's get a couple more scriptures. Um... Uh, Let's see. Uh, Salakia, bear with me. So it up. This is First Timothy four and verse thirteen. It says, till I come, talking about Yahweh Shai. It says, give attendance to reading, to exhortation, to doctrine. The scriptures say, blessed is he that readeth. All right, so we got to read. All right, we got to read continually. It says, neglect not the gift that is in thee, which is given thee by prophecy, this gift of faith. We cannot neglect our faith. We got to constantly be building up our faith and perfecting it until the, until the Lord comes. Because when the Lord comes, that's going to be the end of our faith. With the land of the hands of the Presbyterian, verse 15, it says, Meditate upon these things. Give thyself wholly to them. We got to give ourselves wholly or entirely unto this truth, unto this ministry, unto this faith. Right? It says that thy profiting may appear to all. All right? It says, verse 16, it says, Take heed unto thyself and unto the doctrine and continue in them. For in doing this, thou shalt both save thyself and them that hear thee. All right, so us continually meditating upon these things, occupying ourselves in this word, washing ourselves with this word, all right, not only is it going to save us, all right, 
but them that also hear us. Because when you when you get into this word and you believe in this word, you're going to start speaking this word, you know. Um, but Lord's will, this is edified. I'm going to end it right there. I'm going to give all praise to school and honor to you. How about Shemi Avshai, about Shemir Kadash, the bonus to the apostles and elders of great millstone to rule well. Shalom, wa barakin, la and peace and blessings to the elect. Shalom.